This video is brought to you by Jab.se, the lead supplier of MMA gear in Scandinavia. BetSafe.com, Europe's only online betting site for MMA. Sebastian Mendel Martin of MMA Unit and Studio MMA, and we're here with Phil Harris, who meets Ulysses Gomez on UFC London 2013. And uh, so, Phil, how are you? Yeah, great, thanks. Yeah. Nice and relaxed with uh, the slippers? Yeah, yeah, all good. Yeah, just chilling out in the hotel now, just making it my home for the next few days. And uh, how is it living here at a hotel before a fight? Uh, yeah, it takes a couple of days to adjust to the bed and yeah, new surroundings, but the hotel's great. Everything's good, and it's in my like it's only fifty miles from home, so it feels like home anyway. Still, so. And uh, fighting at home, it's uh, often spoken as both an advantage and disadvantage, depending on who you ask. Uh, how do you feel about it? Uh, definitely, uh, traveling wise, an advantage. Um, got a home crowd. I mean, I can only see advantages from fighting at home. Definitely. And you look forward to putting on a good fight for your hometown fans. Yeah, that's what I'm here to do. Here to put on it. Ex and a exciting fight, and that's what I'm going to do. Now you've obviously you've got a lot of experience, and uh, you finally got your shot in the UFC. Uh, how do you f how does it feel now? Now that you're a, you know, you're a real UFC fighter. Uh, y yeah. To be honest, it doesn't feel different, but it makes people realise who I am now. Which so the general public um, know me a lot more, and it so that it just feels nice now to get a bit more recognition, which I deserve. So yeah, that's that's the main thing I think. In myself, whether wherever I'm fighting, it feels the same. You're fighting once you're in the cage. There's two men in the cage and you're fighting. So no different there. But yeah, the general public and all the the attention you get from that side of it is is great from fighting in the UFC. Now speaking of fighting in the cage, you're facing Elizabeth Gomez. How do you see him as an opponent? Uh, yeah, I mean he's he's ranked. I think I think they ranked him tenth in the world recently. Uh, so he's a highly ranked opponent. Um, yeah, so I've seen a few of his fights. He's a he's a good opponent for me. I think yeah, I think it's, we're going to put on an exciting fight. And stylistically, how do you how do you train for this matchup going in? Uh, yeah, um, to be honest, he f the way I see it, he fights very similar to me. Good jujitsu, good boxing. Um, yeah, uh, so for me, I'm training a lot of my jiu-jitsu, um, take down defense, just just normal sort of training, N nothing special. He's right-handed, same as me, so yeah, everything's just a standard training camp, just ready to fight. Now, uh, you unfortunately came up short in your UFC debut against Aaron Yenoyama. Uh, was there anything particular that the attribute that it's often spoken about, you know, the, the nerves coming into the UFC? Or was there anything particular that uh, detracted from the performance? Uh, yeah, I think the nerves um, s sort of got to me s very slightly, maybe. I could put it down to that. Um, maybe the travelling. I mean, there's so many things you can put it down to. Um, but at the end of the day, I made one mistake against a world-class fighter who's... I mean, the guy's very good. He's doing really well. Um, one mistake's all it takes in this game. And when you're fighting against the best, you make one mistake, which I did. He capitalised on it. So well done, Darren. Really, yeah. Do you feel like you, you like you learned anything from that fight that you can bring with you into this one? Yeah, for sure. I think leading up in the first round, I think I won the first round. Um, I was comfortable in the second round. Um, so what I take back from it is really that I know I'm good enough in the UFC now. Um, this is where I belong, so I'll prove it this fight now. Now, if you were to predict the outcome of your fight with Gomez, how do you think it'll go? Uh, my prediction is I'll win. Um, I'm going to look to stop him, either knockout or submission, but a decision, uh, just a win, that's what I'm after, and that's that's what I'm going to get. And uh, in the main event, we see uh, Hannah Burrell defending the interim title against uh, Michael McDonald. Uh, what do you think about that matchup, and who do you think will take take on that match? Um, yes, yeah, it's, it's going to be a great. It's going to be a great fight. Um, I can't wait to watch it. Luckily, I'm first fight on, so I can watch the rest of the card. Because I mean, this UFC is a cracking card. Um, that main event. Um, if I had to pick one, I wouldn't bet against Burrell. Put it that way. Yeah. And do you have any prediction on how the match could end? Uh, I I don't know. I wouldn't like to make a prediction. If I was a better man, I would bet Burrell would finish him. It, it wouldn't go to decision, but who knows. 
All right. Well, that leads us with two predictions for UFC London 2013. And uh, look forward to seeing uh, Phil Harris taking on Ulysses Gomez in the first bout of the night. Thank you very much. Thanks very much. Programmet presenteras av betsy.com.